Okay, so today uh, I'm going to show you how to set the timing on a Volkswagen 1600 engine with uh, a Protronix flamethrower distributor as a vacuum advanced type distributor. So if you've just installed a new distributor in your van, you'll need to uh, <clears throat> you'll need to follow this procedure to make sure that the the timing is kind of bang on. Um, so just briefly, like what what the objective of this is is we we want to set the the time that the spark comes in. Um, before the before the fuel actually hits the cylinder, essentially, um, it's it's uh, yeah. You, but you set you set that by using the kind of degrees of the position of the engine. So that's on this pulley here. Uh, we're, we're lucky enough; we have a nice uh, degreed marked pulley here installed. But um, some of the stock pulleys, the, the stock pulleys that come with these engines, don't have that. But there might be a little kind of white out mark uh, to show where uh, your top dead center mark is on the engine. Um, now, what we're going to use for this uh, is a, a timing a timing gun. Um, I have uh, my, my fancy digital timing gun here. Um, and we're going to connect it up to the, we're going to connect it up to the van first. So we need to get some power for the gun. Um, <clears throat> so we'll take that from the, from the battery here. We'll just put these crocodile clips onto the battery. Yeah, get the connected up onto the negative terminal as well. So, yeah, now we got some power now. So the the LCD has come on, um, and then we're going to take this, which is this is an inductive pickup, um, and we connect this onto one of the the HT leads that goes to the distributor, um, and make sure that the there's a small arrow there pointing towards the plug. So obviously you orientate this down towards the facing towards the plug. So we want to go, we want to time this off cylinder number one. So that's back here, all the way back here. So we just clip that on there. Let's make sure it's on, good, right. So that'll pick up, this will pick up the electrical signals as they come through the HT leads. Um, and then we'll know when the cylinder is firing. Now, um, just use, there's, there's basically what, what we have here in this gun is there's a strobe light um, and that's fired off by the, uh, by the electrical signals so we know when the engine is firing um, and then we point this strobe light at the, at the pulley and we can kind of see um, through the, you know, through the sort of persistence of vision effect uh, essentially where the, uh, where the engine is landing. Um, so we just leave it at idle first, but then, then what we do is we uh, we rev the we'll rev we're going to rev the engine up uh, to maximum, you know, maximum revs or three thousand revs or whatever, and we're going to see just keep going and then see where where it stops along this pulley. It'll start moving along these degree marks, and we see where it stops, um, where we want it to stop on these engines. A good figure is about thirty two degrees for these. Um, that's just a nice figure that I've heard quoted in a lot of places. So that's what we're going to go for with this. Um, and then if it's if it's at thirty two degrees, great. Well, we've nothing else to do. The the engine's timed; it's fine. But if it's not, if it's you know maybe a little bit after or a little bit before, um, we need to loosen up this this uh, ring clamp which goes around the distributor here. And we need to move it. Um, we need to move it clockwise or anti-clockwise to advance or uh, retard this timing down here. So we'll we'll do that. We'll like say if it's if it's too if it's not if it's not coming in quickly enough. Um, we'll like rotate the, the distributor clockwise and then rev it up again and then see where it's at. Um, so we we'll just we we'll just kind of repeat that procedure until we basically get it to where we we want it, which is about 32 degrees of total advance. Um, the other thing is with these vacuum advance distributors, you have to remember is to pull off this uh, vacuum line here as well when you're timing them, um, because that will affect how uh, how you're measuring it. So we'll just we'll also just plug this here with a little uh, IKEA pencil to kind of stop any vacuum leaks hopefully um, yeah so what we need to do now is just start the engine up 
and um, begin the timing procedure. All right, so we're done. Um, now, the, uh, yeah, in order to get the, the engine to go to 32 degrees um, before top dead center, we had, to, uh, we had to twist the distributor a little bit to the, to the right to get it to advance a bit more. Um, and then revving the engine up again and then just seeing on the, on the dial here on the tachometer when it's at uh, 3000 RPMs uh, where it's landing. Um, so yeah, we had to advance the distributor a couple of a couple of notches to, to get it to, to go to 32 degrees. Um, incidentally, this type of timing gun has a tachometer here as well, which is really handy because um, you know exactly when you're at 3000 RPMs, you don't have to keep revving the engine infinitely to, to get it to that. So you know you know where you are and what you uh, when you should adjust. Um, also, uh, the next thing you'd have to do once you've got this timing in is, is also adjust your idle here as well. So this can help you do that as well. Um, you want your idle with these carburetors. Uh, this is an EMPI 34 picked 3 type carburetor. You want these to be around, uh, the idle speed to be around 900 or 950 with these. Um, <clears throat> that seems to be about where they're happiest. Uh, and you, yeah, you can adjust that with the, the screws on the side with the carb there that you uh, can use to adjust it if you need to. But yeah, so, so that's it. That's the timing procedure and um, Hope you found that useful and thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video.